The water shortage has reached crisis levels and some persons are now doing almost anything to get the precious commodity. Our reporter Dwayne Anderson has part one of this TVJ News in focus series, Waterless West, focusing on the water crisis in Westmoreland and Hanover. It's been several months since some residents in Westmoreland had water in their pipes. It's estimated that close to 60,000 of the 140,000 people living in the parish are without water most days. That's been the case since November 2023, and now desperation is setting in. Criminality has also crept in, and to the detriment of students. A water tank at the Negro Primary School was stolen by criminals. The act happened over the Easter holidays while the students were at home. A man in take it down off of the rooftop and disappear with it. The frustrated groundsman cried openly. He is still in disbelief that someone would steal from the school. You see, in this Negril place, the man them put ten, ten thousand dollars together and make means that we have one tank, we have two tank, enough lawyer and doctor we put out in here. You know, you understand me? So them fi know themselves and stop take the little picnic them thing. The guy painful. It painful to I and I as a groundsman. You see, and when I come and see the thing, them miss like that. You see, it hurtful. You see, yeah, at time now we stop it and think about the children them and stop destroy them. His tears, a sign of water in his body. It is in stark contrast to what's happening in the bodies of this farmer's goats. He says his animals no longer produce milk and the results are devastating. In, in, in dead water, man. We die. Me, me are too born and in dead. And when we check it out, I told my mother never get no water. You know, I can't produce no milk if you don't get any water. You understand? Stakeholders with larger investments are not spared. Stories from hoteliers are frightening. Large hotels right now are spending anywhere from two to five million dollars every week trucking water. A truckload, 3,500 gallons of water is $40,000, $40,000. A small hotel in Negril is spending anywhere from 150 to $300,000 weekly trucking water. And on top of it, we will still receive our NWC bill for whatever water comes in and in Negril, and wherever NWC has um, central sewage plants, we also pay 100% of our water usage for our sewage bill. This document outlines the steps some hoteliers have taken. They pay thousands of dollars per trip to public passenger vehicles to take bed linen to other places to have them washed. This has left many guests frustrated as oftentimes rooms are not ready after they've checked in. Hoteliers describe the situation as untenable. If there's no improvement, we've been told some businesses will have to close. Now the impact on households has also been brutal and extends to districts in Hanover. This standpipe in the Richard community serves hundreds of residents. But for the past two months, each time they turn on this pipe, all they get is a hissing sound. Yes, it's a decoration. That's what it's here for, for no water in it. Problem. You know how long I'm not Over two months now I'm not bed. Wipe me up for wipe up the kids them for them garden in bed. No water. We have to sleep and watch the water. More while we here look nice out there. We don't think of water, no water. We don't know what we do. We can't cook. For one month no I wash, no water. And we have young baby. It's terrible, man. Very terrible. So, so, so what you do on a daily basis to ration the little water we have? When we have to stand up and watch the water at night or before the day when it comes, when my sister full up, in Hala call me in the night and say, Joe, the water come, full up. And by the time if I catch the little water, I go out again. again. That if three days they catch half one drum of water, and can't make half. NWC customers served by the Logwood treatment plant are hardest hit. That facility is below 50% of capacity due to the drought. In the next installment of this special report, I'll tell you about the water operation, which residents say will be the next debilitating scam to come out of Western Jamaica. Reporting for TVJ News, I am Dwayne Anderson. Water,